Hey guys, Bibchip here with a brand new video. In today's video, we'll be counting down the top 5 most underrated LEGO Ninjago soundtracks. So let's get into it. So for all you guys who are new to this channel, this is what I look like, so just get used to it, I guess. Um, there will be links in the description if you do want to listen to them, but besides that, I will be playing a little clip before I start talking about them. But yeah, okay, so the first most underrated soundtrack I have, or number 5, is Pythor Saves a Day from Season 4. So what you just heard is probably my personal favorite part of the soundtrack. It's the most adventurous and the one that like kind of sticks with me in my head. I love the beginning of it. It's so good. And the way they integrate Pythor's theme later on is also very, very well done. I also really like the dramatic ending to it with Chen's theme, essentially, which is just so good. Very good. Now, I believe this track is underrated just because it falls right in the middle of what's happening of everything. Right afterwards, we get Garmadon's sacrifice, and then, of course, the end. So you don't really remember the scene exactly, but it is has a very good soundtrack to it. So next, we have the soundtrack from Ninja Ball Run. Now, this is the episode where the ninja compete in a race to save Dareth's dojo from Garmadon. Very weird, which is partially why it's underrated, just because it's from a filler episode, so most people don't really like it. Now, my favorite part about this soundtrack is that it ties all these really good themes together. So we got the Postman's theme, we got Ed and Edna's theme, the Skullkin's theme, Ninja's theme, aka like the Legend theme, all tied into this one three minute soundtrack. It is so, so good. And they also just introduce like a new theme in it, which is the Ninja Ball Run theme. It is so good. And that is the theme that I played for you guys, the Ninja Ball theme. Very grand and it's so good. Made for a funny episode, I guess. But yeah, good soundtrack. Next we have from season eight, Zane versus Mr. E. Now, I really like the scene in the show, so of course I would like the soundtrack. But the best part about the soundtrack is kind of like the beat they got going for it, for like this robotic mechanical feeling. Also comes with like a heartbeat, almost in a way, kind of vibe. And I really, really like that. I really liked how it ramped up at the beginning, and then I loved how stressful it had, or got, when it introduced the Sons of Garment on theme with that robotic heartbeat kind of tone going on. Now, I believe the soundtrack is underrated just because it is not released yet. I don't know why. So the thing is, is that seasons 8, 9, and 10 ha all have like this weird style of mixing their music and you're able to separate the voices from the music, whereas every other Ninjago season you're not able to do that. You're allowed to do it, but it doesn't sound good. And so seasons 8 and 9 and 10, you're able to give them out, but officially it has not been released, which is why I feel like it's kind of underrated. Next up, we have Structural Integrity from season 11. Now, this is kind of split into two parts in the, the soundtrack itself. So the part under the monastery is very tense. Again, very tense. I love that. I, I guess I just love tense Ninjago music. But it really shows the state of danger the ninja are in. Then one of my favorite parts is when we get into the scroll for Bin's Benjutsu. And there's just like this jingle. I don't know what it is, but it's so good. And then that kind of takes over the main theme. Just absolutely amazing. And it goes just so good. Very, very good. Now, I do believe that this is also underrated kind of for the same reason reason as Pythor's Pythor saves a day just because like it was right in the middle of a very very interesting episode right before you know they have that big really cool fight with also really good music but that's a little bit more well known now the last and most underrated Lego Ninjago soundtrack in my opinion is the first Vermilion Warrior from season 7 Now, this is the season, this is the scene from the part where they're at the Borg store. So, so good. The bass at the beginning, kind of like slow and creepy, very gives off a very good swamp vibe and also kind of like a slithering snake. It picks up with like this, this, um, symbols that like 
provide almost like a hiss for the snake. So, so good. And the Hands of Time theme is integrated just so well into this. It's a beautiful piece. And the, But honestly, the best part is when the Vermilion's theme takes back over from like all this chaos going on. And it is, it's good. It's hard to describe, but you should just listen to it. It's just that good. Which is the part I played for you, by the way. The reason I feel like it is underrated though is just because Hands of Time is so has so many good ones. This one just kind of falls into the pile with it, if that makes any sense. Comment below if you want to hear me do more videos talking about Lego Ninjago soundtrack, but yeah, well, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye!